Hello. So now I'm going to show you how to make a quick and easy sorting system. Just a couple chests here. Just going to be showing you how to sort you sort all your junk out. So right now I've got a quarry a mile over there somewhere. And, uh, obviously all my crap's going into this chest right now. I'm not coming out. I want it sorting into this, to these chests here. So let's try and uh, sort of make this a bit quick. I'm gonna have a timer pipe for every two chests. I'm gonna have them right behind the upper chests here, just like that. Put them on here as well. Connect this up. So I'm gonna move this over in a minute. But to connect these, you have to do a bit, of, well, not a bit of magic, but you have to be a bit clever about it. See so this one here, I'm just going to connect straight up with cobble pipe. And I'll get round to configuring these in a minute and explaining them. But um, for right now, let's quickly go onto this. Now, if you have um, copper pipe up here, or copper, uh, cobblestone, going to want stone there, that's how it works and then uh, this will be stone and next to that will be uh, cobble so this will be cobble next to that will be stone now we do this so we can fit this in nice and easy at the bottom here just, just like that And that's why really, it's just so we can avoid collisions with um, the pipes, not getting sort of blocked up. There we go, sorted that out. Nice and easy, nice and quick, sort of compact. You could do this really easily. You don't have to use a diamond pipe for two chests. You could have one for each chest. Just knock out these top ones here and you could have them, say along the top here, you could have them coming out. Like that, say so these are your diamond pipes up here, going along like that. That's the real easy way. Right now, to show you about these, basic thing is black, black lines in here, top one. It's going to be this bottom pipe here. So everything. Oh, sorry if you heard that. Phone too close to the mic. But this black strip pretty much says, say so if. If sandstone's in this black one here, if sandstone comes along here, it goes in and it will come out the black one. Anything else will go either to the green or to the blue. So to fix that, put something in the blue. Just gonna make that uh, gravel. Come over here. In the blue, we're gonna put sand. That's sand, yeah. And we'll put cobble in the black. So cobble come down here sand along the top here I believe gravel at the top yeah blue and black line is um, sandstone All right, let's connect these up okay so the sand's got here and now you see there's nothing in here to say where for sand to go but sand can't go in the blue and it can't go in the black because we've already assigned something for that. So it moves along. It gets to the next one. Blue. Sand. There's our sand. That's that. So you can see it working. Throw some sand in it. There you go. Uh, I've got to point out, when you do this, you want, um, you want every chest, really. You want every pipe every diamond pipe to have something assigned to it and the last the last chest in your system you want to sign you don't want to sign anything to it you want it just going straight into it so anything you haven't assigned to any other chest is just going to get to the end and then go wherever so for instance if uh, like an iron ore come down that pipe I haven't assigned it to anything so when it passes that pipe it'll get to this one and it will just be chance whether it goes down the black one, the green one, or the blue one. So if it goes down the green one, it's just going to end up in this one. It's going to go down here. But if I did, if I just move it along like that, 
it's got the same chances. So you know, I mean, all your stuff will end up all over the place if you don't if you don't assign everything apart from your last chest. So try not to uh, build too much if you're not going to use it. I'm not going to use this right now. I'm just going to sort it out. I'll fix this in a minute. But yeah, that's that. It's a pretty pretty easy way of doing it. It doesn't even have to be this big. You could cut this back to probably around here, couldn't you? Something like that. Be pretty small. Not much room needed. But, um, it will hopefully look decent when I'm done with it. But yeah, I hope that helps on you guys. And uh, if you don't know how to make the um, pipes and everything, is quick, quick tutorial. Take um, glass and you surround it by what you want, what type of pipe it is. So cobblestone, use cobble. If it's wood, use wood. If it's gold, use gold. Diamond, diamond. So it's just glass in the middle, two bits on the outside. Makes eight. And if you want to wait, if you want to make a waterproof pipe, you take um, the pipe you've got and you make some waterproofing, and you just put it above it. I haven't got any on me right now. See, so I might have. Uh... There you go, pipe waterproof. You make it out of this. You just put this in in a crafting bench by itself, and it'll give you this. And uh... there you go, stone waterproof pipe. So that's how you, that's just how you do that, in case you didn't know. But, um, yeah, that's that. Uh, give it a like, a favour if you want. Uh, I'll see you in the next one.